Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Episode uh, 4,700 on the little shop truck. I don't know. I think it's episode number three. But anyway, uh, thanks for uh, tuning in this afternoon and catching up on this thing. Uh, well, something broke on it and I was already planning on fixing the problem before it broke, but both power windows broke. And it's due partly because of age, partly because of plastic, but mostly because it was a cheap Chinese kit that I'm sure he paid $99 for, and they're still on there now for probably 150. Folks, do yourself a favor. Do not buy those cheap power window kits. They will break. I knew it was gonna break. I've probably fixed 100 of these things over the years of doing this for other people, and wouldn't you know it's gonna happen to me. And it happened to me while I was out at a cruise in the first time I went out in the truck. So anyway, uh, let's dive into this thing. Let me show you what happened and I'm gonna show you uh, what I got to fix it. I only rode the windows up one or two times. Last time I rolled it up, of course, is when it happened, is when it broke. So uh, these are Chinese windows. These are the ones that you see on eBay, uh, a complete set for 99 bucks or 159. Guys, don't buy those. Uh, they will work if you're lucky a year if you're not lucky, about three or four times of uh, rolling your windows up, and that's gonna be about it. What happens is the uh, the power window will get in a bind because it doesn't have any kind of limit switches or anything like that on it that's gonna stop it from going up too far or going down too far. So when it does go up or down too far, uh, this little PVC plastic water line that they use will either snap off right here or come unglued and uh, it's what houses the spring. So uh, it's got a lot of pressure on it. It's junk and uh, you get what you pay for. And I have seen it a um, hundred times personally with uh, customers wanting to uh, take them out because they broke or, you know, alternatives to fix it. So uh, me being old school, uh, I went ahead and ordered uh, some NOS window regulators that early Ford in California had. That's gonna solve my problem forever until uh, my arm breaks or it runs out of grease. But I'm old school. I don't mind reaching across and uh, rolling the window down if I need to. A lot of you guys may never have cranked on a window if you're that young, but us old dudes, uh, we know what it's like rolling a window down with an arm crank. And I just, I love that feeling. So anyway, that's what this old truck's gonna get. It's gonna get the original uh, window regulators coming in from California from our good friends over at Early Ford. Hope they get here soon so I can roll this window up. <clears throat> Actually, I've got the window back up, uh, but I had to roll it up or I had to push it up by hand and then uh, run a little uh, self-tapping screw through there into the bracket that holds the uh, window channel in. So anyway, uh, just a quick tip, do not buy Chinese power windows. If you're gonna buy power windows, do it with an American company that uh, knows what they're doing. And uh, if you need a list of those, let me know, just PM me. I'll tell you who we use uh, for our power window kits. And uh, this is not a commercial, so I'm not gonna name drop out there, but just send me a message. I'd be glad to share that with you. Anyway, thanks for watching this tech tip. Get out in the garage and build something.